Are we gonna be able to pull off a bird deal on this little old lady house? That's what we're talking about. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm James Wise, you're watching Holton Wise TV. This is a little old lady house with uh, some pink action going on up top. And I'm doing this video for Fred and Didi. Fred and Didi, this is the third uh, of three videos I did for you today in this first round of videos I wanted to get out to you guys, right? You guys are trying to do a uh, 20 unit portfolio, okay? Now... Uh, you guys, just to give you my thoughts on how I came to all three of these videos, right? You guys have $75,000 to start with. You want to use 20 loans. So the first two options I gave you were properties that I think could possibly work right now. You just have to put down a down payment. So we keep your cash outlay to a minimum, right? Because you guys were interested in stuff like that uh, where you could just pick it up with the mortgage, and, and just cruise along, right? A little bit of rehab is needed uh, in both properties to get tenants in there, but not much, right? And then this is the other option I wanted to give you too, right? Utilizing the burst strategy. For those of you out there who don't know what the burst strategy is, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? This is nice because you get a lot of your money back. We're going to have the highest cash on cash return uh, of all three properties with this particular one, right? But to pull this off, you got to you know, you're probably going to want to outlay a bunch of cash, right? Because, uh, you know, these are very small loans. Uh, so, you know, the closing costs and whatnot, right? That really kill you to, to buy it with a loan and refinance it again. That, that'll make no damn sense, right? So you'd want to buy this cash, right? And then do it. Now, you could do that. You could do the other two. Uh, you know, the thing is, if you do this one, you're probably going to have to hit pause on the rest of your investing for a little while uh, and wait till you're done pulling the money back out and then get started. But that's why I give you guys several options. OK, so let's talk about it. 18914 Muskoka Avenue, Cleveland, 44119. Three weeks ago on the market for 60 G's. I think that is too much. OK, now, truth be told, even though it's a bird deal, I don't think it needs like an incredible amount of work, but we're going to go above and beyond a little bit because the, the idea is to, to refinance the funds out. Right. We got the hardwoods. OK, so that's looking nice. We're going to want to repaint everything, but nothing here is looking too, too bad. Right. All right. It's it's in fairly decent shape, very similar to the last one. Uh, but since we're going to try to do a burr, we want to do a little bit more. Right. We want to increase some value here so we're going to want to update these fixtures right i saw a couple ceiling fans then you got this old looking fixture we're going to want to update that uh here not a very detailed picture but you know you could see some clues that we're going to need to do a full bath run all right we're probably going to spend like four g's in here right like you see the shower surround it's coming off right here these tiles plus the color it's just old like this house has been owned by one person since I think it was like 91 or 93, right? I think it's a little old lady house uh, just based upon like the color scheme, right? The pink on the outside, which, you know, I, not the color I would have chosen, but I don't think it's really going to affect our rentability or our refinancing. So I don't even think we're going to address that. Uh, we got to spend, we're going to get the bigger bang for our buck here and in the kitchen, okay? And you could see you got like no trim here. You got a bunch of caulk and you, it looks like that floor is, is totally outdated, right? So we're going to redo the bathroom right we get our biggest bang for our buck in the bathrooms and in the kitchens okay so we're repainting everything right repainting everything getting rid of old ceiling fixtures redoing the bathroom the countertops and the cabinetries probably okay okay but we got to totally get rid of this flooring right we're going to want to put a newer vinyl allure flooring on the floor in the kitchen what we want to do is make that match the new vinyl flooring we're going to put in the bathroom and as you can see the outlets here they look like they're coming out of the wall a little bit and we do not have the face plates so there's obviously something going on there we're missing the kickboard on the the base of the cabinets there okay so we got some love we're going to need to do in the kitchen and in the bath and then here in the basement probably going to need to address this that's why the budget's a little bit higher on this property than the others now in the cleveland market okay when you're dealing with the older housing stock right which is what we have here 
We have, uh, it's a porous material in the basements. They get damp, right? A lot of these homes, the basements are just usually unfinished spaces where the tenants have their mechanicals, the hot water tank, the furnace. You don't really want to treat these older, lower value homes as living space down there. So when you see people do things like, you know, put wood walls here, I think that's going to be an issue because you can see it right here. Right, It looks like we got some staining and moisture problems over here. So I would like to gut this out, pull all the wood out. Right, Anywhere mold can grow down here, we want to remove it and then probably dry lock it. Okay, That's what I'd like to do there. And that's pretty much it for our budget. Right, You got a decent hot water tank and furnace. I think the, the listing agent uh, in their notes, they said they were between five and seven years old. Uh, the driveway is only seven years old as well. Right, So... With all that said, we got AC unit too, which is very, very nice. Tenth love that that keeps people in your unit. So with all that said, all that repairs, right? The cosmetic stuff, giving love to the kitchen, giving love to the, the bathroom, and gutting out the basement because I think we're going to run into moisture issues down there. We don't want mold growing, okay? So, you know, just we want just the concrete, the stone walls, you know, the... Uh, cinder block walls and we want to dry lock it right we got to get all that wood out of there i think all that's going to run us around twenty thousand dollars because of that it would be totally insane to pay their asking price of 60 g's right so we're going to low we're going to lowball them right we're going to lowball them at 35 grand right that's part of the game we got to lowball people sometimes now do i think they're going to come right back immediately and want to take half no probably not but a lot of times doing this business, guys, what I found is it's a lot like fishing, right? You need more lines in the water, right? So this might be one of those ones we toss it out there. And, you know, maybe right now they say no because they just listed it three weeks ago, right? They might say no right now. They might not be interested right now. But you know what? If this thing hasn't sold in another 90 days, our offer, our cash offer from an investor that's just ready to rock, that might start looking pretty good, right? So there's no way to know if they will take it. Uh, I'm guessing they won't take it immediately, but a lot of times, a lot of these people, they come back, right? You give them an offer, they go, oh, no, we, our house is worth more, and then they realize it's really not, right? Because I don't really see anybody paying 60 Gs for this thing. I think that's too much, right? So 35, granted, 35 is pretty extreme, uh, pretty aggressive for us, but hey, we're investors. We're trying to make a buck here, right? So 35, put in 20. Our all-in cost would be 55. What's that going to get us? Well, that's going to get us a $900 a month Section 8 tenant. Running the normal numbers you guys are familiar with by now. Average operating expectancy. We're, I'm thinking we're going to spend 58.44 of that 10.8 that's scheduled to come in, leaving you guys with almost $5,000 of clear money. And this is where it gets good. This is where the burr uh, system really works well. The burr strategy really allows people to make a lot of money because. The whole thing, you guys are going to put in a total of 55, I think, after we do the appraisal with the fact that we, you know, cleaned up the issues, made the kitchen look good, made the bathroom look good. I think the property will appraise for 65 Gs, right? I'd have no problem selling this rental for 65 Gs. So that means the bank could give you back 48,750, meaning you only got 6250 in the deal, which would net you guys a 39.9% ROI, right? Almost 40% of your money, right? That's why the Burr deals are so popular. Now, a lot of things have to go our way to get them to accept this, but it's out there. That's the move, right? So I wanted to start you guys off with three options. Two, that you go in. Just buy them with financing, put down a little bit of repair money, keep rocking, we'll keep looking for more. This one would require a larger cash outlay, but at the end of the day, you're going to make the highest return on investment. So in the, the email that we sent these all to you, go ahead and let my team know your feedback on all three of the properties, what offers you'd like us to make, and if you don't want us to make any offers, if you don't like any of these properties, that's totally cool too. Let us know your feedback so when I hit... Uh, you know, hit the drawing board again and make you another set of videos. I know what you liked about these. I know what you didn't like, and I can make adjustments as necessary. Everybody else out there who's watching this know that you got no opportunity to buy this property. I sent this to Dee Dee and Fred privately uh, quite a while ago. I only released these videos 
on Holton Wise TV for free, publicly for you all to learn, learning education only, so the deals are no longer available. If you want to work with me in real time, you got to send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, walk you through the process. Or if you've seen a bunch of our content and you're ready to rock and roll, you want to order a package and have us get started helping you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, click the show notes below. New viewers out there, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.